lying cow. Right. Where are you going? To find her. Let's see if she can send fake messages with her phone rammed down her throat. No, call it, leave it. I just want it all to go away. The downstairs door wasn't shut properly. So you thought you'd just invite yourself up where you're not wanted, did you? Call or leave it. He told you then? Yes, he told me. You're unbelievable, aren't you? You just think you can do what you want, hurt who you like, and then just say, oops, and bat your eyelashes and it's all forgiven. Well, not today. I just want two minutes. Oh, do you? Well, what Ryan wants is for it all to go away, starting with you. So bye-bye, Daisy. Don't trip on the stairs on your way out, will you? Wait, no, call, let her, let her in. Uh, can you just can you give us a minute, please? Ryan! It's fine. I'm all right. I see you. I know what you are. You've got two minutes, exactly. Does Daniel know you're around here again? Yes. Do you know why you're here? No. Thank you for not telling him about the kiss. Well, I wanted to. Then why didn't you? That's when he started talking about Bertie. Couldn't do it. Right. Maybe that makes me a hypocrite, I don't know. Why? Because now I'm keeping him in the dark like you were to me. But I won't be the one to break up a family. Are you saying I should? I'm just saying it won't come from me. I am never telling Daniel. I wouldn't expect anything different. Life's gone pretty easy to you. I'm not going to ruin his life over a stupid mistake. You do, you, Daisy. Are you sure that's the only reason for not telling him? What other reason would there be? <sighs> never mind. No, 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 go on. What? I don't know that maybe you wanted to protect me, because maybe you still have some feelings for me. Excuse me? Because I just wanted to be really clear. The kiss, nothing like that can happen again. The absolute neck on you. As if I want anything to do with you. Did you not hear a word I said earlier? Yes, I just thought oh, that Oh, what, what, you just thought, what, that you were so unbelievably charming that I must be head over heels? You are deluding yourself if you think I'm pining after you, girl. OK. Well, I think my two minutes are up. I should go. You know what? I feel like I know what's going on here. And what's that? My psychologist told me about this. What's it called? Projection. That's it. Projection? Yeah. You're around here accusing me of fancying you, but it's the other way around. You're the one hung up on me. You know what? The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Kissing me yesterday. Never away from me door today. I've been rounded because I'm worried about you. Yeah, because you care about me. Yeah, yeah, but not like that. Poor Daniel. Doesn't even know his fiance's mooning over the bloke across the street. This is getting silly. Just admit it to yourself. I'm going. Go on then, back to the man you love. That's right, the only man I love. That's another one my psychologist told me about. Denial. You're wrong. Daniel deserves better than someone who's happy to string two blokes along. You know what? So do I. It's not like that at all. And you just don't get it. Lucky for you, I do. Sorry, love, I'm not interested. I never want to see you again. When? <laughs> <laughs>